I've uh, come to the conclusion that what's wrong with the cowboy is the cowboy's head. It's too big for his body. Something has bothered me for weeks on this, and it's I finally realized it's not the body of the cowboy, it's the head of the cowboy. So I'm going to be, be yeah, can't talk. I'm going to be redoing the head of the cowboy uh, after I finish the rabbit, jackrabbit. Anyway, that's the that's the plan. And he his body needs a lot of work anyway. I mean, I've got clothes I've got to create and all kinds of stuff that needs to be done on him yet. But I'm thinking seriously of setting this aside because it's starting to wear on my brain. And uh, that's when I start running into problems, when I start thinking too much about the uh, final product here. And uh, it might be best to set it aside for a few weeks and come back to it. But anyway, that's uh, my thought this morning uh, as I get started on my clay of the cat uh, jackrabbit. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm working on the ear right now. I've got to cover up the armature, but I gotta do it delicately because the armature is easily screwed up <laughs> if I don't take it easy. And uh, one thing I do very easily is screw things up sometimes. Each time you do something new like this jackrabbit, you're just working out ways of doing things that you've never tried before. And uh, one of them is trying to get this ear to look like a rabbit, rabbit's ear. The rabbit has a particular look to its ear, and uh, right at the base of the ear, and that's the hard part, is getting that look. Ah. Okay, now it's a little too thick right there. And I've got to uh, reduce that size. Screwed it up. There we go. Okay, I'm working on the other ear. 
a lot of it I couldn't show you because my big hands were in the way. And it was an odd angle. And I keep dropping my clay. These ears are really hard to do. Especially this size. Hey, there's days I wish I had the eyes of my 20 and 30 year old self. It's really hard with 78 year old eyes to see all this. And somehow I manage. I sometimes wonder how I manage. That's good. That's good. I got to clean this up, but I got to do it at an angle that you're not going to be able to see very well, so I'm just going to shut the camera off for a second. All right, I'm going to start the uh, head of the rabbit. It's a matter. You're not going to be able to see it because my thumb's going to be in the way, but I'm going to just try to place this eyeball in there. Okay, that's good. I got another eyeball to do. That looks better. Okay. Even though this side of the rabbit's not going to be seen that well because it's going to be right next to the tail of the horse, I still got to have it right. Okay, if I can get this on here without dropping it. A little off center. Get it on center. There we go.
These ears are way too far back. I got to move them forward. And I got to take out some clay to do that. Hopefully I could do this without screwing up the whole dang thing. There we go. That's better. That's a lot better. Now you just gotta repair it. Constant adjustment and repair. Wow. This is so much fun. <laughs> Okay, work on the nose. Oops. Just doing the upper lip of the uh, rabbit. If I can get it lined up. There we go. No, there we not go. There we go. No, that's too high, too low. <laughs> it's so much fun. Come on, rabbit. I'll have you for dinner if you don't behave. I doggone it. There we go. Oop. Yep. There we go. Oh. I dropped his paw. Shouldn't have put the paw in the first place. There goes his lip and there goes the whole damn thing. Okay. Try it one more time. Come on. Oh. Don't go by his eye. Go down there. No. There. No. Right. There. Perfect. Well, kind of. I'll work that out. Let's see how it looks from the front. Not quite. Gotta get a little closer. There we go. And we gotta blend it in a little bit. I know this isn't the best angle, but all right, I'm using Ronsonol, lighter fluid, and uh, a oil painter's brush because their bristles will not shed. They're a little more expensive, but if you don't want little bristles in your sculpture, they're really worth the money. Man, 
I spent a long time today on this head of the rabbit. I'm actually pretty happy with the ears the way they turned out. And his face. I've still got work on his neck and his chest, but uh, I'm kind of happy with that. I've got to add a little clay right there, but I'm going to have to wait for a while because this uh, lighter fluid is going to take a while to evaporate. All right, that's going to have to do it for today. I'm sorry. It just takes forever, ever, to get things to a point where you feel comfortable with them. And uh, got a little repair job to do behind the ear here. On both ears, actually. And I got to try to figure out how to reach that without damaging the other ear all right tomorrow i'm going to work on his front legs and finalize the uh anatomy of the body that won't take too long i'll uh then attach it back on the horse with the horse and uh i still got to try to figure out a better title for this piece i'm not really comfortable with the one i've got now and it's a little clunky, actually. And I gotta think of a more fluid title. But I'm very happy with the way the uh, ears in that uh, head came out. All right, everybody. I'll see you uh, next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.